Hello learners, I am Dr. Laila Simon, Associate Professor in Department of Management of the Bhopal School of Social Sciences. Welcome to this module on Marketing Environment. Let's recall our previous learnings that a marketing mix is a unique combination of product, place, promotion and price strategies. These marketing mixes must be altered with time because as markets mature, some new consumers become part of the target market and others drop out. Those who remain may have different tastes, needs, income, lifestyle and buying habits than the original target consumers. Matters Barbie was the top-selling fashion doll in the United States for almost 50 years, yet she fell victim to the changing taste and competition. A company's marketing environment consists of the actors, the forces that are external to the marketing management function of the firm, and that impinge on the marketing management's ability to develop and maintain successful transactions with its target customers. The marketing environment comprises a micro-environment and a macro-environment. The micro-environment consists of the company, the suppliers, the marketing intermediaries, the custom markets, the competitors and the public who are the actors in the company's micro-environment. On the other hand, the macro-environment consists of larger societal forces that affect the micro-environment. And these forces are the demographic environment, economic environment, natural environment, technological environment, political environment, legal environment, and cultural environment. First, let's understand the actors in the micro-environment. The company consists of many departments such as marketing, production, finance, personal, etc. And each department is placed under the control of a manager. All departments work in coordination to achieve organizational objectives and hence constitute a company's micro-environment. The suppliers form an important link in the company's overall consumer value delivering system. They provide the resources needed by the company to produce its goals and services. Developments in the supplier environment can have a substantial effect on the company's marketing operations. The marketing intermediaries are firms that help the company in promoting, selling and distributing its goods to the final buyers. They include the middlemen, physical distribution firms, marketing service agencies and financial intermediaries. Middlemen are business firms that help the company to find the customers. Physical distribution firms assist the company in stocking and moving goods from factory to their destinations. Warehousing firms store and protect the goods. Transportation firms move goods. Marketing service agencies like research firms, advertising agencies, media firms and other consulting firms help the company in targeting and providing its products to the right markets. Financial intermediaries include banks, credit companies, insurance companies, etc. that help the buying and the selling of goods and also insure against the risk involved. The customers of the company belong to the consumer markets, industrial markets, the reseller markets, the government markets or even the international markets. Since the taste and preference of the consumers keep fluctuating, consumers' brand loyalty also keeps changing. So the marketeers have to keep a track of what the consumers want so as to grab any emerging marketing opportunities. The competitors have an identified, they need to be identified and monitored to maintain customer loyalty. 
development of marketing plan and strategy is based on knowledge about the competitors' activities. Competitive advantage building upon the depends on the understanding, the status, the strength, and the weakness of the competitors in the market. A public can be defined as any group that has an actual or potential interest or impact on organization's ability to achieve its objectives. Hence, it can facilitate the ability of an organization to accomplish its goal. Most organizations establish public relations departments to plan constructive relations with various publics. Every company is surrounded by seven types of publics as financial publics, which include the banks, the stock brokers, financial institutions, etc. The media publics like uh, newspapers, magazines, the televisions, even the radio and government publics like the government departments, citizen action publics like consumer organizations or the environmental groups, local publics like uh, neighborhood residents or even community groups, general publics is a general public opinion or even the public image, and internal publics which is uh, the workers, the offices and also the board of the directors. The company and all the actors operate in a large macro environment of forces that contours opportunities and pose threats to the company. Have a look at these uncontrollables. The demographic environment is the first environmental fact of interest to every marketer as people make up the markets. This is why marketers are interested in the size of the population, density, geographic distribution, mobility trends, age distributions, birth and death rates, religious structures, etc. The economic environment consists of factors that affect the consumer's purchasing power and the spending patterns. Marketers should be aware of four main trends in the economic environment like the slowdown in real income growth, continued inflationary pressure, low savings and changing consumer expenditure patterns. The natural environment involves the natural resources that are needed as inputs by the marketers and we all know that environmental concerns have been growing steadily in the recent past and as an offshoot, the green marketing trade has started. For example, the green products are expected to use only natural material for packages. Use of recycled paper is also a part of green initiative. Organic cultivation is a part of green movement when vegetables, coffee, tea and fruits are grown without the use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides. The technological environment is the most dramatic force in the present scenario which is shaping our destiny and it is the urgent need of the hour that marketers need to know how these technologies can serve human needs. The pandemic has changed the lifestyle and preferences of even the common man. Today, cell phones and laptops have become so common that it is used by every income group of the society. The political environment consists of laws, government agencies and even pressure groups that influence various organizations as well as individuals. The form of government adopted by the country and its political stability strongly affects the marketing decisions. The legal environment helps in understanding the legislations passed to control or to guide businesses and industry and the marketers need to function within these legal framework. The cultural environment is made up of institutions and other forces that affect the society's basic values, perceptions, preferences, and even behaviors. People grow up in a society that shapes their basic beliefs and values. Pestle analysis is a tool which helps companies to monitor the macro environmental factors uh, that have an impact on any organization. The result of this is used to identify threats and weaknesses which are used in SWOT analysis. 
PESTEL is an acronym and letter stands for political, economic, social, technological, environmental and legal. Although managers control the marketing mix, they cannot control the elements in the external environment that actually reshape the targeted market. No single business is powerful enough to create major change in the external environment. Thus, marketing managers are basically adapters rather than agents of change. For example, despite a huge size of firms like General Electric, Walmart, Apple, Caterpillar, etc., they don't control social change, demographics or other factors in the external environment. This does not mean that the firm is always helpless as we have learned that the company must start with marketing environment in searching for opportunities and monitoring threats. That's all from me in this model. Thank you.